Hey everyone, how are you this Wednesday? I'm so glad to be here and I hope you caught my last night's um, night meditation. I wanted to work with you on trying to um, relax at the end of your day, let go of your day and find a way to settle into your evening where you can feel really connected to yourself and reflective of your day. And this is sort of what I'm talking about right now. Um, which is something that came from my group last night, which was don't go down the rabbit hole. How do you not go down a rabbit hole? And so a lot of people in my groups are working on trying to stay positive, trying to stay connected to themselves in gratitude and really looking at what they accomplish in their interpersonal relationships, how they manage things better, how they um, stay more on top of their negative thinking. So we came up with five strategies how not to go down the rabbit hole. So if anyone doesn't understand what going down the rabbit hole means, what it means is going into negative thinking, negative self-talk, um, feeling really discouraged about aspects of your life. And, and as we all know, we don't wanna fake ourselves out and say we don't have to deal with things that are difficult or we wanna procrastinate and avoid things. We're not doing that. But what we're trying to do in my groups is stay really positive in our thinking. So the other day, I had a day where I felt like I was yelling at myself all day. I don't know if that ever happens to you. If it does, let me know. I'd love to um, connect with you about that more in the chat. Um, but you know, this is like when you just kind of get on your case, your, um, your case about like how you do things, how you're showing up, whether you're um, on top of your game. So um, sometimes it's really hard to stop that, right? That's like a negative cycle. So the first thing to do is to discipline your mind, to catch yourself when you're doing that and do something different. Easier said than done. That was that day. It was much harder for me to stop the negative thinking than to just let it overcome me. So, um, but if I had been on top of my game and trying to get out of that negative self thinking, one of the things to do is to discipline the mind, to not allow yourself to keep doing it, to have that negative thought, to have that comparative thinking. Um, and also to stop and take care of yourself instantly. Take a few minutes, lay on the floor, breathe, have something to eat, listen to music, all of those strategies work. The other is not to listen to your projections, the things that you think people are saying about you or the judgments that you have about yourself. Stop projections, it doesn't help. They're just, that's just your mind making up stuff that actually just makes you feel worse. So stop projections, believing your projections, the ones you think you have about yourself and the ones you think other people have about you. It's just a waste of time. The other is to take some stock in what you're grateful for. And that might just mean the smallest things. It is so nice to just sit here for a minute and let myself breathe. Or I really appreciate this relationship that I have or this friendship or my kid. To really find the smallest things that you're grateful for or the biggest things you're grateful for and remind yourself of those things. The other is to look at what you're accomplishing, what you're doing well. I mentioned this um, last night when I was doing the ending day meditation is what are you doing well? What did you do well today? What did you do well in this situation? To give yourself some kudos, some pats on the back. That's going to help you shift. If you're not into meditating, and I did a meditation yesterday, you can also take some of the questions that I ask in the meditation and journal them, and even do them now. You can journal them. You can actually um, think about some of the things that are going through your head that are the projections, that are the gratitudes, that are the accomplishments, and write them down. And if you're not, if you're a better verbal person than you are a written person, dictate them on your phone and then listen to yourself say them. Say the things that you really would, would really help to process them out a little bit more, to really acknowledge them. So the strategies not to go down the rabbit hole are to avoid 
to, to discipline your mind, to know when you're doing it and to stop your mind. Not doing this, take care of yourself. Not listen to your projections, either the judgments you have about yourself or the ones you think other people have about you. To notice three things that you're grateful for and to look at a few things that you've accomplished in the task that you're in or in the day that you've had and to relish in that for a few minutes. So my groups are just amazing. They're so inspiring. I wanted to bring that into your day today. Um, touch base with me on the comments to see if you, and let me know if you've gotten anything out of what I've said. And also, I wanted to just let you know that the lives that I'm doing right now can have a direction that comes from you. So if you're interested in having me talk about anything that has to do with interpersonal relationships, separation, building your relationships, trying to have more um, positive thoughts and positive things happen in your life, just let me know. I'm an expert on these subjects and I'd love to talk to you about them more. So I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Take care and bye for now.